Okay, so we got some onion rings. And they look delicious with some ranch and some barbecue sauce. And we're gonna try one of these. It's some thick ranch. That is thick ranch. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, but very hot. And I'm gonna try one in some barbecue sauce here. Definitely fresh and warm, crunchy. I got here some um, mahi mahi fingers. I had a hankering for some fish, and it looks um, fried and not battered or not um, breaded. I like it fried, so we'll give that a try in a few minutes here. It's very hot at the moment. And some nice fresh cut um, seasoned waffle fries and lemon slices for my fish. And I got the Texan burger with the natural cut fries. And it's a uh, cheese, bacon, there's an onion ring in there. Right there is an onion ring. And barbecue sauce. And it looks delicious, but again, everything is extremely hot right now. So. Very fresh. Um, the food took a while to come out, so um, it's all very nice and fresh, and that's always a good sign. Yeah, we'll give one of these fries a try now that it's cooled off in a minute. Mmm, I don't know if you can hear that crunch. Very crisp fry. Not a lot of flavor, maybe it's just some salt and pepper. But very crisp, very crunchy, very hot. How are the homestyle fries, babe? Uh, they are good. A little crispness to them. Soft in the inside. Mm, like a mashed potato. Crispy on the outside. Like a fry should be. Yep. Long, too. Some, mm -hmm. big, some big fries in there. Even nothing. That's for sure. Yeah. Gonna try a bite of this. Oh, it's dripping barbecue sauce. Mm. Good room. You gonna show us what's in there? There you go, see some bacon and onion rings, cheese, barbecue sauce. Looks delicious. I see rum. Mm -hmm. It's a nice... Thick slice of lemon they brought me there. This is cooled off. It's time to try a bite. Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. Nice and crunchy. Nice light fish flavor. A little bit of lemon. Excellent. Cool. Ain't nothing fishy about that. Okay, so we went to Mainline Bar and Grill today in Downer, Minnesota, uh, by uh, Barnesville, and it was uh, it was all right. I mean, it was good food. The food was hot, very hot. Everything that came out was very hot. We were the first customers of the day, though. Uh, another guy walked in and later. A, uh, a lady and her son, it looked like, came in. One guy for takeout, but that was it the entire time we were there. Was not busy at all, but we got them right when they opened. The building on the outside, pretty shabby. Um, inside didn't look so bad. Uh, the food was good. I mean, I had a 10 ounce burger, which is the larger burger. Uh, but I think it was like 12 bucks or something. So I thought, well, it was a little pricey for a burger. But uh, we also got some uh, side of onion rings. And uh, total out the door with tip. We tipped, a, I think, 18%. Uh, total out the door was like $36, $37, or something like that. Yeah, 36 something. And, uh, which, I don't know, for just uh, getting a burger and a quick meal and a, a little watering hole in a little town, uh, seemed a, a little on the pricey side to me. But, uh, that's just an opinion. The burger was good though. Uh, very juicy, very, very crisp up, 
crisped up right on the edge of the burgers, you know. It was a it was a good burger. The bacon on it was awesome. Uh, barbecue sauce, onion ring, everything was good in there. And uh, I, I really did enjoy the food. So. Uh, yeah, um, I did enjoy my meal. I had um, mahi mahi fingers, which mahi mahi is one of my favorite fish. Um, I thought the size the the size of the meal was perfect for me. Uh, sometimes, you know, you go and you order food at a restaurant and the size is just overwhelming. Um, so portion size for me, I thought it was excellent. I didn't think my meal was that expensive. I think it was around $8. 8 9 something like that. Um, so I didn't think it was too bad. Um, the lady was very generous with the size lemon wedges she brought me. It came with tartar sauce. I'm not fond of tartar sauce, so <coughs> I asked for lemons. Um, sometimes when you go to restaurants and you ask for lemons, they bring you these little itty-bitty skinny lemons that have no juice in them. But one in particular that she brought me was just absolutely loaded with juice. I was very impressed with that. Um, it was nice and quiet inside. I enjoyed the fact that there wasn't a lot of people. Uh, the music was at a um, bearable level. It was there, but yeah, it was not, not loud, not or, loud or overwhelming at all. Um, yeah, the outside when you pull up, it looks like maybe it was an old tire place or old car shop Warehouse, or some type of deal. But um, it's out there in the middle of nowhere. It was worth going to. Um, I overall, like I said, I did enjoy it, and the waffle fries, I didn't think they had a lot of flavor, that's my opinion. Um, I put a little salt and pepper and dipped them in my barbecue sauce left over from the onion rings. That brought flavor right out of them, they were really good at that point. Nice and crisp waffle, waffle fries, they could hear them crunch when you bit into them. Our dogs have an opinion about the place too, I guess. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think overall, um, I would go there again. Um, I'm not sure about Tom, but I would go there again. Oh, go I enjoyed again. it. Um, he might order something different. I don't know. But overall, if you're ever in nowhere, downer, nor uh, Minnesota, give it a try.